It's important. Um, you know, every, any game you go out and play, you're, you're trying to win. Um, but uh, I'd say the biggest thing is just getting your game tight and getting it where it needs to be. Um, you know, like I said, the seeding's important, but I think, you know, in any playoffs, the team that continues to get better through it all is, is the team that's going to have the most success. So we're just going to look to build and, and play the right way and, um, you know, obviously going to try and win every game and uh, things usually work themselves out from there. Yeah, I just think it's a it's a mentality for our group. You know, we have have a lot of experience and, you know, a lot of leadership. And I think getting back to the little things that, you know, make our team successful over the next three games before, uh, you know, the playoffs hit for our, our group, uh, doing the right things the right way and, and trying to get better every game, uh, I think, leading into the playoffs. And obviously, like Bobo said, is uh, it's important to, you know, go out there and obviously try to win these games. These games are meaningful games, are important, and we want to go into the playoffs on the right foot. Back to For both of you guys, you had a day off yesterday in the bubble. How did you spend a day off in the bubble? Did you start with Jake and the Um, Day off in the bubble. Uh, you know, hung out, had some breakfast. Uh, I read uh, some of my book, um, hung out with the guys, played some cards in the afternoon. Then we uh, had a team dinner last night. So, um, yeah, just more relaxing and you know, just sort of taking a little break and, and enjoying the company. Yeah, I had a similar day. Um, got a couple extra hours of sleep. Um, boys played some cards, had lunch out in the yard there. Um, and then we had a nice team dinner. O'Reilly picked up the tab for the boys, so we had everyone out and, um, yeah, saddled up there for a nice, fun dinner. And um, then that was it. Called her. Uh, I want to ask you guys about testing. Is it pretty annoying to have that swab uh, stuck up your nose or, or down your throat every day? How, how are you guys coping with that? <laughs> I mean, it's part of it. It's really not a big deal. We knew every day that we were going to get tested. And it's the right thing to do. And, you know, over the course of being in St. Louis, near the end of June till you know, we left, and I probably got tested 20, 25 times already. So uh, it was pretty, pretty normal. And we all know that we're going to get tested every day. And they actually have a great setup here. It's very fluid. It's very easy. It's very quick. And uh, you're in and out of there uh, every morning. So it's really, it's really pretty painless. Yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. They, uh, they've done a pretty good job of keeping things very efficient. OK, go ahead, Tom. Uh, Jake, oh, right. yep. Jake, we're kind of uh, keeping track on hats. What hat do you have on there today, first of all? Uh, I have a Travis Matthew golf hat. Okay. Um, are you guys tomorrow, are you expecting, you got to practice, but five hockey games tomorrow, do you think you guys will be watching a lot of hockey tomorrow? Yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> there's, uh, between that and, you know, the WGC golf tournament that's on, and uh, I'm sure, I'm sure every, Every hockey fan and obviously all the players that, you know, we're all still fans of the game and we're all interested. It's, you know, everyone's been starved without sports for a while, especially hockey. So uh, it'll be uh, in interesting to watch. I think we're all looking forward to it. Yeah, I think sports right. sports fans are uh, definitely going to be inundated with a lot of sports, with basketball and golf and hockey. And um, you know, I think some guys mentioned it before, it's going to have that March Madness feel where you, there's games on from, from when you wake up to when you go to bed, which... Which is great for the game, and um, you know I'm sure we'll probably walk over to the rink and you can poke your head in and watch a period here or there. So um, looking forward to it. It's just, it should be a fun, fun ride here. Okay, we'll go ahead to the next one. Robert, I wanted to ask you, just curious, uh, do you watch film of an exhibition game? Do you feel like it's necessary to see what you did well and what you didn't? Or if there's one thing you feel like maybe you you guys can maybe rectify. Is, is it jab control, and is that going to be important going into that game against Colorado? Uh, yeah, yeah, we watch film. Uh, any chance we can, you know, take information in and and learn from stuff, um, we're doing it. So, um, yeah, we looked at things we needed to tighten up. Um, you know, maybe taking some straight lines, some cleaner routes um, when forechecking. But um, yeah, and then you take what you uh, addressed in video and roll it over into practice and we had a great practice day. I thought the intensity was high. So 
um, yeah, we definitely took information and took what we needed. Um, you know, we have a veteran group who knows what it takes, and um, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a, a game that looked like a, a Blues hockey game by any means. But uh, yeah, we looked looked at the film and uh, made some corrections. For most of you guys, please. Uh, well, what are you expecting out of Colorado? And can you put much stock in games that happened, you know, six, seven months ago? Um, I think we're, you know, both familiar with, uh, they're familiar with us and us with them. And, you know, obviously the big line they have there with McKinnon and Landis, Gog, and Rantanen, and, you know, we get to uh, control that line. And, you know, they've added some pieces too. They have a, they have a deep forward group and, and uh, you know, pretty solid lineup. And, um, yeah, you know, we uh, they got the best of us a couple of times this year, and you know they have a good team. We 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 got to be ready to go because they're fast. Uh, they play a, an intense, quick game, and uh, we just got to stick to our systems and trust our game, and you know trust what we do well, and uh, and go from there. But you know, it's uh, it's going to be a good test right out of the gate. Yeah, that's a team with not a lot of holes in it, top to bottom. Uh, you know, they have world class players, and and Rantanen and McKinnon. Um, you're gonna want to take time and space away from them. They're they're a team who builds off the rush and um, they can beat you so many different ways. So um, yeah, if we're loose, you know, um, it's gonna be a long night. But I think as a group, we know what it takes to to do a job and um, you know stymie an offense like theirs. So um, it's gonna be an exciting challenge. And um, you know, their power play can can zip the puck around pretty good. So that'll be another challenge for our group. But uh, you know, we're looking forward to it and. Um, it's nice to jump in a team that you've always had good, intense battles with and, and get, get this thing kicked off the right way. Okay, just a couple more for these guys. Lou, you want to go ahead? Jake, what's been your routine here as far as preparation, uh, getting, getting yourself ready and keeping yourself ready in, in case you're called upon? Yeah, uh, honestly, it, since you know we got back into the swing of things here, it's really just been sort of the same mentality for me as, as it was last year. You know, bring it every day and, you know, treat, you know, the practices and everything as important as the games for me and just trying to stay as sharp as I can. Uh, unique circumstances for everyone, so there's no excuse that way. So it's uh, it's it's really just staying mentally fresh and mentally ready and, you know, just trying to bring bring a positive uh, attitude and mindset to the rink and, and go from there. And, you know, Binner's going to be ready to go, no question. He looks great. And, uh, you know, I'll be... I'll be ready if, if needed, and you know uh, that's just the way that we approach our game, and you know we did last year as well. So really, nothing changes for me. All right, go ahead, Tom. Let me take along those lines. I mean, how did that game feel for you? How was that? Your twenty minutes out there. Was, how was it? It was quick. Um, you know, it was. It uh, yeah, it, it's like everyone says. It's you hear it over and over. Nothing can replicate a game. Uh, it doesn't matter what what people say. Practices will never replicate a game, and uh, especially for a goalie, getting your your feet wet and your timing. I think the biggest thing, you know, is uh, playing actually with bodies in front of you, trying to find pucks, find players. You know, know where guys are on the ice. It's it's a huge difference between just getting clear sighted shots all the time in practice. And so uh, learning those things again, and you know, it, obviously things always get better as time goes on, but. Uh, you know, we don't really have a whole lot of time, so we got to find a way to jump right into it. But yeah, it's the timing, uh, finding bodies, finding pucks, and you know, and I know it was only 20 minutes, but uh, hopefully, uh, get a bit more ice time here soon. Okay, JT, looks like you get the last one. Well, this is for Robert. Robert, uh, I heard you uh, you got engaged. Congratulations! And seeing as you might be here for a while, think your timing has been a little better on this. Uh. Yeah, no, happy to be engaged. I said I couldn't go another day without being engaged, so I had to get it done before the bubble. And uh, yeah, it was it was a cool moment for me. And um, you know, someone said they mentioned it on the broadcast the other night. So um, yeah, happy to be engaged.